And the Pacers for the first of three divisions of the Kentucky Standard Bread Sales Company pays for a purse of $150,000 in behind the starting gate. And the gate is rolling. And they're off and pacing. And there goes Summerfield Hall for Marty Cooper right out for the lead. Under Your Spell comes away pacing in the second spot, followed by Unaccountable at the rail in third. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy is fourth. Another link back to Lightful Cam fifth. She's the greatest, is last as they continue into the first turn. And Luculette will send Under Your Spell after the early lead now as they continue around the turn. She gets rough gated, though, and is taken back off the pace as Summerfield Hall maintains the lead now a length and a half. First quarter, 27 and three. Under Your Spell back into the two hole. It's two lengths back to the race favor under Countable in third. Here comes Under Your Spell is going to try it again as they continue up the back stretch. Under Your Spell from the outside will take over. Back in the second spot Summerfield Hall. Two lengths back to the heavy favor under Countable in third. Mercy 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 racing in the fourth spot. Underway the outside. She's the greatest for Morgan now fifth. The lightful Cam the trader. And John Campbell looking for his fourth of the night. Sends Under Countable right to the front now by a length and a half. At the inside Under Your Spell back in the second spot is followed by Summerfield Hall in third. On the outside she's the greatest grinding it out from the fourth position mercy 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 fifth the outside delightful cam the trader they had passed a half and 56 and four and it's unaccountable on the lead by a length under your spell racing in second she's the greatest a rough trip on the outside tonight from third summerfield hall will need racing room fourth at the inside as delightful cam moves on the outside fifth mercy 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 the trader they head to the top of the stretch unaccountable looking to remain undefeated in her sixth lifetime start and she gets to the three quarters on top in 126 and four to the outside under your spell is going to take another shot from the second position gaining ground along the inside Summerfield Hall is third but it's still unaccountable with the lead on the outside under your spell second at challenge moving through late between horses here comes mercy 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 who's charging unaccountable with the lead mercy 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 between horses unaccountable mercy 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 up to win it mercy 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 went from last to first unaccountable her first defeat she was second best here under your spell third in one 55 and 1. And now back to the winner's circle. Here comes the winner of the first division of the Kentucky Standard Red Sales Company pace for two year old Philly Pacers. Number three, Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Owned by Brian Pinsky, D.A. Wetzel of Illinois, K.R. Pinsky of Minnesota. Trained and driven to victory by Brian Pinsky, his first winning drive of the season here at Hoosier Park. As he pilots Mercy, 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 the daughter of Jate Lobel and of Tarbeth Hanover, to her first lifetime victory, and it's a big one. As she paces the mile here in 155 and 1 fifth seconds, lifetime best for number three, Mercy, 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 pushes her lifetime earnings to 99713 So a freshman season falling just short of $100,000 at this point, but I'm 